Okay, everyone. I found my first major clue. <coughs> we got a four footed uh, bridge abutments. We got four abutments here. Uh, the train used to go underneath. This used to be covered in wood uh, for cars. I'm standing on a road right now. You can see behind me. That's where the road is. You can see it goes down that side. So it's been raised up. Cool. Oh, I love when you do the research and then you go looking for it and you find it. It's awesome. Talk to you soon. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, I've been looking for the signs. Uh, I found this particularly odd. Um, there's like a, a patch of grass here right out in the middle of the bush. And there's some fairly large trees. I'd say that one's got to be pushing over 100 feet high. There's a couple over there that are the same. But this is, uh, yeah, grass goes back quite a ways too. So I'm going to poke around here. See if I can find a cellar hole. I'm getting my eyes poked out. I think I'm close. I think I'm not quite there yet. This could be, could have been farm field that just grew grass, I guess. According to GPS, I'm still too far away. All right, bring me to that tree fell over. I'll bring you back later. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, good thing about winter time is you can usually spot cellar holes or a hole pretty easily when there's a light dusting of snow. I just found this. This is not the place I'm looking for because this is on the opposite side of the road that I'm looking. Um, but there's, there's an obvious uh, depression stone around it and when I get up to it I find a well with uh, some type of iron piping sticking out of it. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Hi everybody, uh, I think I found it. I kept following this trail of grass that I was showing you earlier. And I came across this jumble of stone. Most of it looks like like granite or something like that. A little bit of a, a wall there. And that I think might have been the well. And then I kept walking a little further and this beauty reared its ugly head. It's not the prettiest cellar hole, but still got a bit of uh, wall left. A lot of brush around. This is going to be a, a task. And you can see I had kind of like a cold cellar there, and then the wall keeps going up this way. So I'm not too sure what the front would have been, the road. That way, so it might have been this, might have been the front, or this might have been the front over here. I don't know. There's also some rock over here. This was a pretty big house, so I think a lot of it they might have had a the small cellar, and a lot of it was just built on uh, <clears throat> on stone, which is what they did back then because there's another little wall there that comes out, and another one kind of over there. There's a little depression where I'm standing. see all the stone here too like there was a wall there so yep all right time to break out the detector and see what's going on woohoo awesome we'll talk to you soon bye for now hi guys uh, I'm still at this house that I've been here for like I don't know three four hours now uh, it's been slim Pickens metal detecting but I found a little spot right next to the foundation where I've been 
pulling out a lot of glass. There's uh, some blown glass, uh, pretty ornate glass. Uh, there's some newer stuff too. Um, some pottery, some nice pottery. So I'm going to poke around here and then just use my pen pointer to see if I can pull anything out, any relics or anything. Pretty much ran it all around here. See the glass there. Yeah, I'll poke around here for a little bit more. Other than that, somebody has dug here before because they've, uh, those three big trees right in front there, there's iron all bunched up right next to the trees. Uh, an old rasp, a uh, chisel, been sitting there for a while because I'm, I'm not seeing any holes, so. But it doesn't make sense that rusty iron would be sitting up next to a tree like that. So, yeah, we'll poke around here for a bit more. There's a the cellar there, sorry for the sun. Alright, talk to you soon. Hi everybody, I uh, just decided to do some walking around in the bush um, and I just came across this giant foundation. Um, looks like it's got a center chimney stack in the middle. Uh, fairly large. This wasn't on the maps either. Don't know if anybody's been here or not. Pretty square shaped. Um, looks to be pretty old as well. So I'm gonna stick around here for a little while. I was gonna go home, but might as well make a day of it, I guess, while I can, because it's gonna get cold after today. All right, I'll let you know if I find anything. If not, it's just gonna be a nice uh, little hike video, I guess, and uh, showing you some of the the remains of the buildings around here. Okay, talk to you soon. Well, check this out guys. Foundations right there. The hole, cellar hole I guess you'd call it. And I just came around here I saw this limestone paving <coughs> walkway. And there's actually a a live well right here. Still water in the bottom. I stuck a stick in there. It's probably, I don't know, 15 feet deep. Betcha there's some bottles down there. Anyway, I'll get back to detecting and see if we can't find any. Talk to you soon.